Welcome to our house. Welcome to your house. And, and welcome, welcome to Kids Church. Church. Unfortunately, we can't all meet together in person this week, but we can still praise God together with our families. This term, we've been looking at God's unstoppable good news. Can you think of something that's unstoppable? An avalanche. That's a good one. Vomit when you start. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Australia's Olympic swimming team. Certainly mm-hmm. seems that way. Yeah. And of course, the gospel. God's good news of Jesus coming to save us. Absolutely. The gospel is unstoppable. And we've learned a song about that. Go, 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 gospel power. Let's sing it. Go, go, go in the gospel power. If we mean it every hour. Ready, steady, here we go. Gospel power, go, go, go. Go, go, go in the gospel power. If we mean it every hour. Ready, steady, here we go. Gospel power, go, go, go! On the cross Jesus bled, died and rose from the dead. He's the life and the truth and the way. Hey, hey. May the Lord be your song as he guides you along. Every step, every breath, every day. Two, a one, two, three, and go, go, go in the gospel power. If we mean it every hour. Ready, steady, here we go. Gospel power, go, go, go! Go, go, go in the gospel power Every minute, every hour Ready, steady, here we go Gospel power, go, go, go! On the cross Jesus bled Died and rose from the dead He's the life and the truth And the way, hey, hey May the Lord be your song As he guides you along Every step, every breath Every day, too a one, two, three, and go, go, go in the gospel power every minute, every hour. Ready, steady, here we go. Gospel power, go, go, go. Go, go, go in the gospel power every minute, every hour. Ready, steady, here we go. Gospel power, go, go, go. Gospel power, go, go, go. Gospel power, go, go, go. One thing Christians always do is we love to get together. Every Sunday we get together and we meet together at church. Yeah, definitely, but not this Sunday. No, not this Sunday, but I guess we would if we could. Mm, Yeah, and I guess we are kind of, but just in a different way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So tell me, Sal, do you you love going to church every Sunday? Mm, Definitely I love going to church, yeah. Hmm. You mean every Sunday? Do you ever sometimes not feel like going? Um, Yeah, I guess maybe sometimes, yeah. Yeah, me too. Mm. Sometimes I don't feel like going. But I usually glad that I did when Mm -hmm. I do go. Yeah. So why do we meet together? Why is it so important that every week we go to meet? I know we can't at the moment, but even when we can, why is it so important that we meet? Hmm. Great question. Let's find out. Let's ask some experts. So we can learn more about Jesus from his word. So we can help each other to follow Jesus. So we can praise Jesus with each other. So we can show love to each other and serve each other. Because we love those who love Jesus like we do. Because Jesus saved us to be together. Those sound like some really important things. Sure are. I reckon it's a lot like penguins. Penguins? What do you mean, penguins? Well, penguins huddle together to keep warm, like these penguins. So cute. Emperor penguins must also become part of a crowd. There's thousands, and still more keep coming. Hmm. See, they protect and they care for each other. Do you know what would happen to those penguins in the Arctic winds if they stayed all on their own and lonesome? I suspect you can tell me. Penguin ice cubes. <laughs> Frozen solid. Penguins gather together and care for each other because they need each other to keep warm. Mm. And we're to gather together and care for each other too. So Christians need each other to stay warm? Not literally to keep warm. <laughs> to keep our hearts warm in following Jesus. Okay, I think I get it. 
We need to gather together every week to love and care for each other and to help each other follow Jesus. Absolutely. Mm. Just like penguins. We love to be with each other and to serve those who love Jesus. Mm. We sure do. Yeah. So let's have a look at what some of the early Christians did. Over to you, Ruth. Hi, kids. Are you ready for today's story? Okay, let's get started. In the book of Acts, we read about the early church. People who turned to follow Jesus gathered with other people who turned to follow Jesus. Let's remember what happened all those years ago. In Acts chapter 1, God chose someone to replace Judas. Judas had betrayed Jesus and was now dead. A twelfth man was needed to take Judas' place. Someone who'd seen Jesus from his baptism to the time he rose again. A man named Matthias was chosen. Jesus' twelve disciples were now called the Twelve Apostles. In Acts chapter 2, God gave each apostle the gift of the Holy Spirit. The apostles began to speak in different languages. People in Jerusalem from all over the world heard them speak. They heard about the risen Lord Jesus. That day, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus. So what did these people who loved Jesus do? They gathered with other people who loved Jesus. They listened to the apostles teach. They wanted to learn more and more about the risen Lord Jesus, and they encouraged each other. They ate together and remembered that Jesus had died for them. They prayed together. They praised God together. They even sold what they owned and shared their money with each other. And they made sure that everyone had what they needed. People who love Jesus love people who love Jesus. They love to meet together as his people. And they love to serve each other. Children, if you love Jesus, then love people who love Jesus too. Don't miss any opportunity to gather as his people, to serve each other and encourage each other. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for the people in our church who love you. Thank you that we get to love them and serve them each day and every week. Amen. So the early Christians, they seemed to love gathering together and serving one another, didn't they? They sure did. They love to sing together and pray together and hear God's word. Mm, I'll be glad when we can meet together again. Yeah, me too. I'm pretty sick of lockdown. Mm. (laughs) Maybe this week you could send a note to a friend to encourage them or think of um, your favorite Bible verse that you could send them. It's a great idea. Maybe you could ask your parents to help you send a text message or something. Mm. What's next, sir? Well, we've got two awesome crafts that you can choose to do. You'll need to get your parents to print them out and then you'll need some scissors and some sticky tape and some colouring pens, of course. And then for one of the crafts, you'll need a bit of string or some ribbon to help hang it up. Let's have a look. Cool.
That was great. Check out my craft. That's not yours. That's mine. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Check out my craft. No, Dad, that's mine. Oh. That, it's okay. That's right. It's okay, Dad. I found your craft. Yeah. Thanks. Hope yours looks a little bit better than mine. It's been great meeting with you all today. Sure has been. Shall we close in prayer? Sounds great. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that we can meet together to help each other to love and serve Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you saved us and bring us together. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, it's been great to meet with you all. Mm, and hopefully we'll get to meet up soon. Bye. Bye.